Six releases all May long. Let's talk about it. Y'all, we got a couple pairs that are gonna go crazy in the month of May. You do not wanna miss those, so make sure you stay tuned to my IG. You know, the handle is the same, at AllAB Sneakers. Every release that we talk about today, make sure you have those on your radar. I post release guides here on this channel every single month, so if you don't wanna miss any future releases, make sure you subscribe, turn your notifications on, cop new releases, and make that money with me. May 6th, I wanna plug this one, not because of the value of the pair, but because it is a nice sneaker. We've got the Retro 2 White Cement, we haven't seen any twos do crazy numbers. I am seeing that the retail on this pair might be 175. If that's the case, there may be a little meat on the bone. Other than that, I'm just plugging these because they'd be a good pair of personals for those of you guys who are crazy about twos. Nice, clean, neutral colorway. More than likely gonna brick, but might also be a pair that you look for at your outlets. May 10th, we have got a money pair dropping. The Nigel Sylvester Airships Every Game. These are set to retail for $140, and some of you might be looking at these thinking why are they so valuable nigel recently had a friends and family pair that was almost identical to these except for on the heel tab it said bike air obviously he's a professional bmxer sneakerheads who are into the bmx game went crazy over those this colorway is almost identical this time on the back heel tab it's going to say every game stitched in cursive still really cool there are very high offers on the goat app right now already even though these have not released to the public if you secure a pair i would flip these ASAP. No idea what stock levels are going to be, but right now they're money. Take advantage of it while it lasts. May 11th, we've got the Air Jordan Retro 11 Low. This is in a women's size run, yellow snakeskin. Yes, these will be available in an extended size run. Retail is going to be $190. In my opinion, Jordan brand is pushing these out at the perfect time, right before spring and summer months. What better color to wear than yellow? Also, they might have a white upper, but it's something you can kick around in and not worry about oxidizing or anything like that the soles are already yellow so who cares resale value on these might not be high at first it might be a pair where you cop and keep them on ice for a while but this is something that we've never seen before so i think it's going to do well long term may 13th this might be the best release of the entire month we've got the air jordan retro 4 thunders Finally, this colorway is being remastered. We haven't seen them in quite some time. They remastered the Lightnings within the past couple years, so it was only a matter of time before we saw the Thunders. The last similar colorway that we had to these were the Red Thunders, and those did numbers. So I don't even need to tell you guys. We are gassed to the floor on these. Cop as many pairs as you can. Resell is gonna be nice. Fours are hot right now. If there's one pair of shoes that you put all your money on this month, it's the Thunders. Retail's 210. Plenty of meat on the bone to make some money. Keep an eye out for raffles that you can enter for those. Keep an eye out on your local sneaker stores for their release details. Of course, you'll be able to cop those along with every release that we talk about today on sneakers at 10 a.m. on release day. Of course, keep an eye on your foot sites during those release times as well. May 20th, we've got the Retro One High OG Marvel Spider-Mans. We've seen this colorway floating around the internet for a while now. I've seen a lot of mixed opinions about this pair, especially since we already saw a sort of Spider-Man colorway in the past. However, I do think these are gonna do very well. There are already some high offers on the resale sites available now these are going to do very very well on the resale market these are probably going to be a little bit harder to cop than releases like the thunder fours so make sure you give yourself as many chances as possible to get your hands on at least one pair it's going to be tough but if you do come up on a pair you're going to have a nice payday retail on those is going to be 200 bucks don't miss them may 27th we've got another retro one this time they're dubbing them the crafts this is one of my favorite releases of the entire month of course, I'm a one fan. These almost give me like a luxury one vibe with the color selection. Of course, we have the Nigerian influence with some of the accents on this shoe. Very cool concept, love the colorway. I definitely think that this release is gonna sell out. Not too sure what the numbers are gonna do. Ones have had a very, very tough time here lately. It's been taking some seriously limited releases of retro ones for them to not only sell out, but have a really good resale value. So keep your eye on these. This is one that you wanna tap back into my IG later on so you can see what we're looking at closer to release date. Retail on that pair is gonna be 180 bucks. We'll see what the resale market looks like as we get further towards the end of the month. Now I know we haven't had the easiest way around trying to make some money during these new release times. If you're looking for ways to source other sneakers, whether that be bricks, discounted sneakers, clearance, flip them to make some money. I'm gonna have a video dropping on that very soon, so stay tuned for that, because I'm telling you guys, these new hype releases are just a very, very small portion of the money that you can make on the sneaker resale market. There is plenty more potential. Best of luck to y'all during the month of May. Thank you guys for watching, and do not forget, this is all 
about sneakers.